Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. It really tell us winter now or getting really wintry because the light in all my videos is terrible right now. But whatever, we are just dealing. And <laughs> welcome, welcome. We are going to talk about the favorite and the best stuff, the favorite stuff from November. I'm actually cheating and filming this one day early because if you've been on my channel for a long while, December means vlogmas time, which means that I really like to get up my November favorites wrap up before like, Vlogmas starts or else they won't be up until like end of December and then I feel like it's kind of too late So I'm filming this today so I can get it up tomorrow and that means it's one day earlier than like when the month is over So we're missing one day in this favorites, but it's okay. I doubt I would do anything exciting tomorrow So what did I do in November? November was a... I was gonna say like less busy month with work actually like I didn't work as much in November as I did in October. October was totally crazy and then I thought like oh it would be chill in November but then Black Friday happened and it was actually one of the most terrible things I ever experienced and I never want to think about it again but yeah retail work is no fun no joke I want to get out of here. I am grateful to have jobs I just don't want to do retail that's all. And what else did I do? Yes, I started my librarian job. Oh, I'm not a librarian. I started my library job and that has been fun. Really interesting. Opened my eyes for a lot of stuff and now I'm even more confused than I have been previously. But I am still a lot more grateful and it's been a good time. So I am enjoying that. There's just so much stuff in my life lately, which is like, I really like it. But... <laughs> It's something I just don't like at all, which kind of, maybe it's a me problem. Seems to be a me problem. Other than that, I just try to, when I had time, to play Genshin and to watch some stuff. I have managed to get through a few seasons of some stuff, even though I've been incredibly busy, at least now in the last few days. And in the weeks coming up, at least in December, like the next three weeks, I think I literally work like... 60 weeks every day, which is very annoying because I want to do cute vlogmas videos. How can I do cute vlogmas videos if I'm never home? Who knows? Either way, and then I've been reading. I actually read much more than I thought I had, but uh, that's me, you know, but I haven't read. I'm looking at the books now. As many thick books as usual, I guess. So, I guess, yes. It, it was easier. I published many, many vlogs in the November as well that I had like been doing for a really long time. So all of those that I was like currently in are out. That is also really great because I wanted really to get them up before this, uh, December because of Vlogmas. So I guess I managed that, but oh my God, I used such a long time on some of them. But yeah, at least they're out now and I'm happy about that. And if you don't know Vlogmas, it's not like Bookmas where like some do like sit-down videos for like 12 or 24 days. It's literally vlogs like of my life for 24 days because I think that's fun. And I've done them for what? Five years now? Will it be five years? I don't know. So like, I feel it's weird if I don't do them. And I think they are like a lot of fun to look back on because my life ch has changed so much over the years. So it's really interesting to see like what I do every Vlogmas. And I guess this Vlogmas will be known for when I work myself to death. So that is nice. Let's talk about some of the stuff I watch now that we covered whatever my life is right now. And obviously I watched a few things, a lot of rewatches as per usual, but the ones that stands out as favorites, we first have Good Omens, which I finally watched after reading the book, not the month before, maybe the month before that, I don't even know. And obviously I really, really enjoyed the show. I feel like the book was just not written in a for me, it was very confusing and weird, but the show where the humor in the book is taken out and done really, really marvelously, and then I can like kind of see, for me at least, the whole point of the book, but I still didn't enjoy how the book was written. And I love David Tennant so much. He's like my love. So yeah, basically follows an angel and a demon that needs to be like on earth and keep an eye on things. And I've been doing so like since the beginning of time. And then the apocalypse is gonna happen and everyone else wants this war while they just wanna kind of like still go to tea and drink coffee and like enjoy the human world because they quite enjoy it. So they're working together trying to stop the apocalypse. And um, it's really humoristic, really cute, really funny. And there is apparently a season two coming, even though you know it's only one book. And I am excited for, to see it and I really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, very much recommend. And then I also been watching Criminal Minds and I do not think I've been 
I might have mentioned it before in one favorite where I was like, I said I watched it while Erica was watching something. I don't even know. But now like I'm actually watching it properly together with her. She's re-watching it. And we just finished season two and just started season three. And obviously it's 15 seasons. It's gonna take us a long while to finish because we also, we don't watch everything at one go. We have like a weird watching system. And I'm just saying that I really, really love it so, so, so much. It is everything to me right now. I like, I enjoy the security so much. Obviously the themes and the topics brought up there is terrible and you will literally grow a complex from everything but it's literally so so enjoyable i don't know how a show can that can be that enjoyable but it just is i obviously will probably keep watching it but i don't think i will mention it like this like here and every favorite even though like i'm still watching it just because it will be really repetitive but i might mention it again when i'm actually finished so in like two years then i guess um my favorite character is hot and i know he leaves later on will not be able to survive after that i don't know but also of course i love matthew or Dr. Reed, but like, there's something about Hosh, man. He's so hot. Either way, then I of course also watched Black Panther Wakanda Forever in cinemas, and it was beautiful and stunning, and I want to cry, and it had reveals, and it was just painful. A lot about mourning and death, but also just about life, and it just had a lot of pain. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. It brought really cool new things to the table and I really enjoyed it overall as a movie and I had a really, really great time. It was amazing. Really surprised about a lot of the things happening. It was just such a good movie, such a good time. So absolutely enjoyed. I like, I want to talk more about details and stuff, but there's a lot of like spoiler stuff and there's a lot of things I didn't know. But obviously like I'm not as like, you know, into the comics, etc. So obviously maybe other people would not know. But for me, I was just like, oh my God, shocked in my pants. I was really surprised to where the story went as well. Done really, really beautiful, especially, you know, in memory of Chadwick. And I was just dying my heart. So yeah really really loved it that's the three things i watched that i knew that i loved and then for books what did i even read obviously i will read another book before the one is over but i already know that's not gonna be a favorite anyway <laughs> i know i'm gonna enjoy it but it's not gonna be a favorite so it's fine that i feel like this now let's see on this list here i have given five stars to three things this month but the favorite would be Loving Castle in the Mirror by Misuko Tsujimura. It's always the last book in the month almost that is my favorite lately. I don't know why. So this follows Kokoro who is a student and then she stopped going to school because she was being bullied and her parents are like, of course, wanted to continue, but they're trying to find different solutions. But one day when she's home from school, her mirror starts shimmering and she enters it. And in this mirror, there's this castle. And in this castle, she meets other people who is most likely also not going to school because it's school time, this is happening. And then there's this wolf lady who gives them a mission. And the mission is to find a key. And if you find a key, you can open a wishing room and wish for anything that you want. Like any wish in the world. So they all like trying to find a key, but also kind of just chilling and getting to know each other and all trying to figure out like what they're all doing there, etc. And like why they all like were chosen for this or like if it's real at all. And then you have to find a read a book to find out. In this book, I was very, very much into it. I really liked the themes and how it was written the whole time, especially like just following this character that had went through so much pain and trauma, I would say, from like her bullying and then how this castle gave them some solace and some escape from this world that all of them were struggling with different things. The, like the whole story was like four stars all the way through. Like I knew I would give it four stars because it was a really, really solid book. Then the ending came, which literally blew my mind. Like I feel like it's a bad thing to say that maybe because then people will read it and be like, oh, I'm expecting it to blow my mind and then like, you kind of just expect it. I didn't expect it because I didn't know what would happen in the end, but just the things that happened, how it happened, what was revealed. My heart, my tears, my eyes, my heart. It was just so, 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 so good. I loved how all the pieces came together. I loved the answers that we got that weren't really answers, but they were answers. It was just so, so, so beautiful and so sad but also so good and I think apparently it's a movie coming and I really 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 want to watch that I think it would be beautiful 
like to see these things and like see how that is done and if it's done well and I just really 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 loved it. I knew I was gonna enjoy it but I didn't expect it to be this five star read that really like melted itself into my heart but it's really because of the ending because the ending was so good and I am a person and I'm a sucker and person for like endings that like give the whole story a new meaning. Looking at you Miss Bourne <laughs> and uh, sometimes most often and I just don't do that because it's hard to do do well and I'm a lot of the times and it just fall flat for me but this one is exactly the kind of ending I love so I'm very very pleased and happy and it was just so good so yeah I definitely a favorite I recommend so much I knew I was gonna enjoy it didn't know I was gonna end up like this so happiness in a book my other two five stories for the month by the way are I'm glad my mom died and Berserk Volume 3. I talked about Berserk many times in my other favorites, so I think it's good. I'm glad my mom died is definitely a different type of five star. So there's that. That's the stuff I loved. I'm gonna go and play Genshin now before I need to get ready for work. So you should see me soon in a new video. I hope you enjoy Vlogmas when it's coming. Be excited for like the Vlogmas and then uh, I will go back to normal content after that, don't worry. <laughs> But yeah, check out my picture down below if you want to support my channel further. That's where we will do the sprints and other fun stuff in December. Maybe a Christmas party. But yeah, you should see me soon in a new one. Leave a cast emoji down below if you enjoyed this. And you should see me soon. Bye!